Why does that not just break it? First of all, you can't fit glass in your ass. You could. I mean, but I'd be scared. Of, I'd be that. scared of it busting. There's glass shards. Yeah, that's in your what ass. I'm saying. That that's that's like a. I was watching like a sex sent me to the ER, right? Yeah. And somebody put like this hollowed out soapy uh, bottle. <laughs> soapy bottle in the bottle, <laughs> and the thing straight up broke inside of them. That would be one of the seven Deadly layers sense. of hell. <laughs> or eight, nine layers of Dante's Inferno shit. You wanna know a layer? Wanna know a torture yeah, what's, yeah, what's the other layer? <laughs> well, no, no, I'm just saying like one of the layers. I watched a video in the Dante's Inferno today. Yeah, hit me up. Um, well, there's like a seventh layer that I think homosexuals go to. And it's just way more fun than the other layers. Strictly. <laughs> it's strict, uh, strictly well, only cool people there. <laughs> well, Dante is accompanied by Virgil, and they just walk through hell, like nonchalantly. Yeah, like, the video game makes it seem a lot more fun. Yeah, yeah. They but, saw God of War once, and like, oh, hell yes. And, he, <laughs> and he, just, he just talks to, like, souls that are in the middle of torture, being tortured, like, mm -hmm. uh, for eternity. And, I mean, one, uh, one ring or layer, whatever the hell it's called, is uh, dedicated to being homosexual because back then they didn't like, or at least Dante, the Italian writer, did not like homosexuals. Even the Catholics of that day were just like, oh, I don't know. Well, I mean, the Catholics of today aren't into that. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> back then, though, you'd think that it's like Old Testament still and shit, like they'd be totally down with being ha or hating on homosexuals. But even back then, they were just like, I don't know, it's kind of harsh. Kind of iffy, man. We there's a lot of nuance. <laughs> Anyways, the torture had to do with like a a sand pit that that like little snowflakes of fire will be falling down in the sand and making the sand hotter than hell, like third degree burn typing of hot. And people had to be there, and if they had rested for even like a second, they'd be stuck in that position for hundreds of years. And the people that were like hurting the most were people that were like just laying on their back or laying on their stomach that were just like. In there for <laughs> just like looking straight up, yeah, straight up or straight down, where their mostly body would be on the sand, and it's just like, yeah. So the the trick would be to get a, a boner, and then use your the boner your to penis, prop you yeah. up. <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> or do like the. I hate, I hate it. Can you, so you can't much. lift her up now? You have to go back. I gotta go back and get her. Oh my god. Lovely. This game sucks. <laughs> the trick would be to do is like, you know that like Kung Fu Master like push-up thing where they do the montage of this like old man doing push-ups and he's doing like regular push-up and he does a one-handed push-up then he does one finger push-up and he eventually just goes Yeah, with but his arms behind his back. But, but you gotta start with that because if you, if you get in the position it. you gotta immediately start off with a it's funny because the, the further you go down to hell, like all these things are really terrible. Like there's one, I forget what kind of like sin you have to be doing, but your body, oh, it's suicide. If you commit suicide, you turn into living trees where you're trees and you, literally like harpies are flying all over you and eating off your fruits, which are which is painful as fuck. Right. Um, right. So you're just like these living trees that harpies just use to just live on, and they scratch you. any. If you take off a limb, it's like taking off your arm, and blah blah blah. That's if you kill yourself. Yeah, but like, I mean, I guess with that one, at least the end's in sight. Yeah, I guess. Because I mean, eventually. Well, no, you just in but, hell. In hell, you could like get your body tore up. There's a, there's one where you're literally you wait around in this place. I forget if you're doing anything in the middle, but. Cerberus is just literally running around, grabbing people and tearing them, ripping them to shreds. And then eventually they heal up and they just do it all over again. It's kind of cool. Is, Cerberus is just running around, taking people and just ripping them apart. Yeah, man, if you're going to go to hell, you might as well be a dog toy. Yeah. Um, but then eventually, like, you think that layer, like, layer after layer gets worse. But they get to this one place where it's like, I, I think it's, uh... I can't remember if you say one thing, but you're really saying something else. Anyways, it's a certain one. All they do is walk around in weighted robes. <laughs> so they're wearing these white robes that are like nice and pristine on the outside, but on the inside they're made of. No! I think this would be like the next layer in Dante's Inferno. This right here, this gameplay. Okay, the level. It's not you, Alex. It's the level. It's funny. Like I, I find it more fascinating, like how stupid the writer is during this whole thing. 
Yeah, like, I feel like he couldn't think of things after. Well, it's funnier because he has such, like, oh, did you catch that? Did it? Oh. Yeah, like, I feel like he couldn't think of anything, so then he was like, <laughs> gay people go boo boo. <laughs> There's multiple times in the story where he includes real people that are alive in his time mm -hmm. in hell. Like, if he, like he, <laughs> he had such, like, a, what do you call it? Reverence? Yeah. Or, or hatred? Yeah, I guess hate. He just, like, he put himself on a pedestal as a poet because he put other poets, like, in the first layer. He, like, I guess he, Dante, which is him, the writer is him. Yep. He ran into other famous poets that he liked. And then he wrote them being like, oh, you're just as great as us. Saying like that. It's so weird. Oh, like he tried to gas himself yeah. up. Yeah, like yeah. throughout the whole thing, he's gassing himself. And it's so fucking weird. Like, uh, and then popes that he doesn't like, specific popes, he talks to them in hell. Like even live ones during the time and ones that are were past popes. He would, he would talk to them like they were being tortured. Well, well Michael, save this gold from Cameron. Where's this guy? No, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, not, right. we're, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep it like this until I at least get up that platform. Because we can't, I can't keep, like, redoing this over Putting and over and over on camera. You could. Aaron, Aaron from, uh, Game Grumps does this a lot. <laughs> where he, where you, he does you know something that, over you, and over and over You again. know they cut it out. Mm -mm. That's part of the comedy is sometimes they do it. Well, maybe I'll leave it in, maybe I won't, I don't know, but, like, I'll tell you what. That, this this part's pissing me off. <laughs> That's why you leave it in, because it's pissing you off. <laughs> pissing me off so hard. Alright, so... I want to throw this little toddler off the fucking edge. <laughs> Alright, straighten out. Okay. Alright, Michael, so... Dante's, Dante's Inferno. Inferno, it's... it's he, he's gassing himself It gets crazy. Off. It's, it's crazy in the way that it's kind of like, ooh, d depressing. But there's also a lot of funny bits because it's obviously a work of fiction. It was written by somebody, a poet, mm -hmm. uh, Dante, who he put himself as the main character. And there's plenty of instances in the story where the main character runs into... <laughs> it's his own fanfic. <laughs> it's his own fanfic. It's like a hell of the fan fiction, Where he's nonchalantly walking through hell and he's putting real people in his life or people that he has opinions on in real life in these certain layers of hell. Like there's this one place where only popes go. And there's a live pope that was living in his day that he put in hell because he didn't like him. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, oh, yeah, cool. Um, I'm making a story right now and I'm going to put you in hell because I don't fucking like you. He's like, oh, you again. Yeah, and he had a fixation with Rome and stuff like that. So we put a lot of characters that were um, oh my God. idols and stuff like that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, the pope one is fucked up. Like the pope one... There's just a tunnel of hot rock slab that's just fiery rocks. And literally the first pope that was crawling in, they have to crawl in, was talking to him. It looked like a giant scab. Like his whole of his skin was burned. And he asked uh, Dante, it's like, because I guess he can't see. He, like he came back after talking to him for a while. He came back and he's like, are you the next pope? Because <laughs> I have to walk in after. Like, so the more popes that come in, they have to walk further down into the fiery rock tunnel. Uh, that, that, that would suck. This game sucks. Oh, this is definitely one of the layers of hell. You get to hell, you're playing this over and over again. And they, you're not in it. They literally, you're just like in a room playing it. Noki, if you start this barking thing again, because the cat's in here, you're about to, you're about to get out of this room. You're about to get thwarted. I don't really know what that means, but I know the context of what it's been supposed to be said. You're, you're gonna get bored. We're about to send you to the the twentieth level of dog hell. Oh shit! It's you know where you that? if it's where you get like the you want to lick your nuts, but you don't have any. But you can't. Yeah, you keep trying to lick your private parts, but they were taken away. <gasps> oh, that's your life now. Oh! Oh! We are the twentieth ring. <laughs> Man, what is Gimli doing back there? He is just looking down upon the. He's probably they're probably uh, telepathically communicating. Gimli's just talking mad shit right now. Pretty usual. <laughs> what a bussy you are down there! You can't climb like this. I am agile. You little, you little bushy. 
<laughs> I love the idea that that's what he's saying. Oh, I landed perfectly on it. Lift me up. I have raised you from. I thought that was supposed to be part of the little cutscene. Like they, no. like you spawned. No matter what happened, you spawned on top of the chest. Michael, do me a favor. Uh, karate just, chop can look. Just, just. Oh, I got the boomerang. Yeah, come on, buddy. Come on. He's like backing up. He's like, well, now I don't want to come this way. Cam. Yeah. Come on. It's okay. Come here. He's like nervous now. Gimme. Well, in his defense, we did we did kind of get in his way. Gim gim. Come down here. All right. He's there like, you go. He's like, okay, okay. There you go. There you go. That's good, right? Is it a good place? Right? He's not. He's not bad. Not bad, Gimli. This is a uh, basically a repurposed cat bed. It's my coat now. See, oh, there you go, Gimli. Oh, that wasn't go, so Gim bad. Yep, go. Gimli. It's also weird about the story is he uses Greek gods as being like the uh, shepherds of each ring. Like he mixes Christianity with like Greek. Um, well, gods. he doesn't have a lot of, uh, you know, class. Doesn't have a lot of material. He's like, you know what? This is gonna be great. Is this the? Is? is this the? Michael said this every time he looks at his wife. Touches <laughs> her arm. Is this the clitoris? <laughs> How's that make you feel, huh? Slap it her knee. Is that doing it for you? You're like, oh, thanks, I guess. Did you find my thingy? <laughs> How you can throw it? You left me behind. See, <laughs> and you know what? She grows into someone who's like less like, uh, what's the word? Impossible to listen to. Talk. Oh God. Oh my God. Mid boomer. Boomer boom. What? <laughs> God damn, he got thwarted. Okay, so. I like I got thwarted. I can't do that yet, maybe? I don't know. Um. I thought the boomerangs were. Well, what maybe I you're too close. That. Maybe you gotta hit it multiple times. Oh my god. I'm just gonna leave her behind for a second. Watch what out, the Link. Electricity is running through this blue slimy thing. I can't oh, wow. get those things either. Uh, what am I doing? I don't know, man. But now you're heavy enough to. Did you already open that one thing? You're heavy enough to open the one door. Did you already do that? I did. Okay. I got that, and then I went through and I opened up the other door. What else is there in this hell hold? Okay. What is that <laughs> green thing? Slime. Can you hit that and it like makes the other ones in the other room like stop for a little bit? Now you can take care of these jelly boys. Do they respawn after you leave the room? Yep. These monsters. Oh my god. My hell. My Dante's Inferno. <laughs> kind of what we want those. Okay. So, Michael, help me out here. But what am I looking for? What do you think? Um. Hmm. Can you climb that little? Right there. I can't climb anything while I have. Oh, that's up. You'd be climbing. Okay, you'd be climbing down. Um, okay, I don't think you return down. What what happens with the green thing that's right there? Can well, you do I can't anything? do anything with it. Can you hit it with the boomerang? I did. You did? Well, I mean, that's the same thing on the other ones, right? I don't know. It doesn't look like it. It looks like a different color. <laughs> I guess it's just this thing. Alright. Um, so nothing here. I do like the fact that these things are insta killed by this thing. Now. That's nice. nice. What? 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 Nice try. But I know your weakness now. It's crouch rolling into your face. <laughs> it's boomerangs. <laughs> Boomerang. Remember Skrillex, man? Oh, it used to be so cool. I like from first to last a lot more. <laughs> from first to last? Yeah, it's a band. You need to get rid of that so you can go down on that. Yeah, somehow. That's like a pus, or like a little pus tunnel that you need to drop down. Um, Michael, I know as that, far I, as... I know that you feel like you just said something insightful and maybe helpful. Well, you gotta get rid of that You somehow. gotta get rid of that Take somehow. care of it uh, by next week. I'm gonna go back to that oh, that room where I was in where I was able to open it up while she was like sitting on that, uh, that button. And, oh my wee, god. Wee, 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 wee. Oh, you're able to collect your heart back. Nice. That worked. That was a little bit of a middle... Little Wait, is there another place down that the other way? Did you try it's that just way? Another, it's just another one of those things. Ah, gotcha. Alright. Yeah, let's go here. And so I was in here. 
Okay. So there's got to be something. You well, got to hit I, it right in the little. It seems that the narrow part is a weak point. Yeah. Gotta hit the narrow part. Well, I already hit it once. I thought that I was it. Multiple times, bro. Maybe I gotta get lower. Or... There. Now wait for it to lower again. Oh, this, it's, this is a, this is a, a mini boss, I think. Yeah, yeah. You can't just back up. You gotta get close to it to where it wants to grab you. There, you there we go. It's flaccid like my penis. Now it turned into more goo. Just melded. This better be useful. This better be useful. <laughs> how much? This how explodes. Much, <laughs> how much money do you want to bet this is like a? It's a map. It's three acorns. It's a map or it's, com it's a map or a compass. It's gonna give you, this is the dungeon map. It always pissed me off in Zelda when I get it. It's a great. Thanks. I guess. Now right. you can look at where you are. And now you can know where you haven't been. So now that's taken care of, maybe it changed something around here. Hey! Oh, so yeah, so once I... Oh, I didn't need to do that. Oh, so that was the thing that was stopping me from going forward, is they, they... I had to kill the tongue. Alright, guys, that's the end of this episode. Um, we killed the tongue. We killed the tongue. Uh, you guys watched me get my ass kicked for a while, I think, if this was that episode. You learned about Dante's Inferno a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. I would suggest not looking up, but maybe if you want to watch somebody covering it, it'd be better. Yeah. Because it's kind of old. It's stupid. That's why. That's that's the same thing I would recommend with uh, Lovecraft stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Peace out, boys. See ya.